Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad you yeah, called. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Yeah, you look thanks, good. Buddy. You look strong. <sighs> Miss you. Laughs have been uh, few and far between without you around. I, know. I, I heard about your father, Pal, and I, I know he's in the hospital. He suffered a heart attack. And how's he doing? Not very well. How are you doing? I guess I'm doing okay, considering I'm the one that put him there. What are you talking about? <laughs> Come on. It's, it's just stupid. So, I, I just still can't believe it happened. It's just uh, insanity. Okay, uh, is this time for this Spalding rant? Or are you just you want to start from the beginning? I'm sure I know where the beginning is. <clears throat> Alan, uh... Alan gave Olivia a pair of earrings that uh, he had put a bug into them. He was spying on her. Great. Mm -hmm. That's vintage Alan. Yeah. So yeah. when she found out, she told me about it, and uh, we decided it'd be a good idea to give him an earful. Give the old man some payback. Mm -hmm. Which he there deserved, which he had coming. <laughs> Driving me nuts, you know, how I can't leave anybody alone. So we did. We, we set up a little act for him. We made it sound as though we were having a hot, steamy affair. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Stupid. Very stupid. But we did it, and he bought it, and he came charging through the door, fit to be tied, caught us in a clinch, and keeled over. Does Beth know about this? Count. Yeah. And? She's moving out today. What? Why? Why would she leave you over some stupid prank? It wasn't just a prank. What do you mean? Well, it started out as a joke, just a way to get back at Alan. But by the time he came through the door, Olivia and I weren't pretending anymore. What we were doing and feeling was pretty damn real. Absolutely sure about this. Rick, we tried. Nobody was ever more convinced and they could just pick up where they left off than Beth and I were. We had, we had the kids. We had history. We love each other. Do you still? Yeah. We do, but it's not enough anymore. You know, you sometimes you're with somebody and you, you go through so much together and you cause each other so much pain. After a while, you're just numb. You know, I'm, I'm tired. I, I just, I don't want to say it, I'm just sorry that you guys are both going through this. I know. I am too. Well, it's, uh, it's an end of an era. Yeah. What? Well, I was just wondering about Olivia. What about her? She's with my father. I understand that part of it. The question is, do you want Olivia to be with you? Do you love Olivia? No. Definitely not. Take your time. That much, I know. Oh, so what was this whole thing about? Just an exercise in lust? I mean, Sri so uh, certainly is a beautiful woman. Yeah, I, it's that. It's much more than that, isn't it? I don't know. I, maybe. It has to be. Well, I know you. I've been on you for a very, very long time. You have never so much as looked at another woman besides Beth. Oh, uh, well, you know, I, that's got a lot more to do with where Beth and I were than where Olivia and I are, or almost were. I don't know. Sure you do. You do. I mean, come on, it's obvious you thought about this more than once or twice since this whole thing happened. You know what it is? It's that I recognize her, Rick. I, I see Olivia, and I think, that could have been me. Oh, come on. No, I mean it. If I hadn't had you for a best friend, if I had never met Beth, I would have been just as lost as she is. I would have made all the same lousy choices. And you know what? I, I would have been exactly the way she is. Same tough shell, the need to control everything. I hate to break this to you, pal, but that is you. And nothing but mush on the inside. But that's what I mean. That is, that's her, too, exactly. There is a heart in there. 
I see it. And let me tell you something. It's one that doesn't judge me. That's, that's what's so scary about it, is that I, I know she gets me too. She understands why I do the things I do. And not because she feels some obligation to her, because she thinks that somehow she's going to change me into something better. She just does. I, I don't know, I can't tell you, you know, what, what a relief that feels like sometimes, just, just to be accepted. <laughs> to be liked, even, you know. Man, you're such a wuss. <laughs> Boy, your feelings hurt very easily for such a so-called tough guy. Well, maybe that's why I see it in her. Yes. And I do. I see both parts. And that, friend, is what makes her so very dangerous. You better believe it. And that's why I can't go anywhere near it, and I'm not going to. <laughs> I can't, <laughs> for any number of reasons. What? What's happened here, pal, is very big. I mean, not just with your father, but with Beth. I mean, she's been the love of your life forever. So whatever's going on here with Olivia is not something that you're going to be able to avoid. Watch me. Watch me. <laughs> you know, I, you don't, you, what are you standing here talking to me about avoiding for? What? What are you doing here? Why are you sitting on a beach today? Well, in case you haven't noticed, I'm a very pasty boy, so I'm catching up. Isn't today the first fish. day of Reba's trial? Why aren't you there? Don't you have a vested interest in that? I wanted to disappear. Is that vested? I, 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 I just don't even know what I'm, I'm supposed to feel here. I mean, I mean, Cassie... Cassie gave me a life. And which never would have happened if, if Reba didn't end Richard's life. So where am I supposed to sit? Behind the defense table or the prosecutions? Good point. Tell you what. What? Why don't we sit here and we'll talk about anything you like with the exception of Olivia and the trial. How's that sound? You got yourself a deal. Let's do that.